Hello everyone, this is Tucho Dora. Maybe some of you know that I got this book a couple of weeks ago to turn it into my bullet journal and I especially choose something with a plain cover so I can do my custom design on it and today that's what I'm gonna do. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna talk about what crossed my mind when I started drawing, what inspired me, what scares me, etc. I stared at the cover for a while and tried to decide that what kind of drawing I'm gonna do and I thought that it can be good to draw something like a girl with so much thing going on on her head because it's gonna be cover of my bullet journal so I thought that can match quite well with the purpose of it and I really wanted to draw something can inspire me on my bullet journal journey so I opened a Pinterest and stared at some beautiful girls with being jealous of course meanwhile <laughs> And I chose that one because it kind of matched with the picture in my head. Of course, I'm not gonna try to do like exact portrait or something. I'm just gonna be inspiring from this girl. And my rough sketch is more or less ready. So I'm ready to color it. I'm gonna use my watercolor to give like the general color. And then I'm gonna use other stuffs to give some more details. Let's talk about how stupid I am. You know the thing that I don't know this material, I don't know what I'm gonna paint on. So the first thing is if you're painting on a new material, you test the material and you see that how much is observing the paint, how the colors look like, how the material and the pixels are reacting to each other. So you can decide what kind of painting you're gonna use and what kind of design you're gonna make. But what I did, none of it. <laughs> I just skipped this part and start to painting. Then I realized the paper is absorb all the color and it turned out something super light. We cannot even see the pixels on it. Well, of course, that made me freak out. <laughs> I should let you know this. Uh, I start this painting without any planning. Like I just decided like in 10 minutes and start to film it. Normally I make a planning before. I have in my mind more or less what I'm gonna go for. But today I was just like, yeah, okay, let's, let's paint something on it. And the light changed so fast, so I like quickly start to film it. And to be honest, it put me in a big stress because even though it might sound super strange what I'm gonna say right now, but I am quite shy about sharing my art with uh, others. So doing these YouTube videos are already a bit struggling for me to do. So that's why I'm more comfortable when I have a planning about a video. But today that wasn't the case. And if you ask me why I was shy, I might say that I was very versed before. Now I'm feeling more comfortable with what I'm doing. But I think that I was always surrounded with amazing artists and on social media also I'm seeing like great artists and that was making me think like, oh, what I'm doing, like what I do is like piece of shit anyway, that there are like amazing artists out there. And that was a very, very wrong way of thinking. Okay, there was a good part in it because it uh, blocked me from being a like super egoist uh, artist. <laughs> But in the same time, it kind of damaged my self-confidence about my art. But uh, thankfully, it didn't affect that much to stop me doing what I love to do. But anyway, I learned to deal with it and I kind of like passed through this stage. So I'm way more comfortable now. At least I'm doing YouTube videos, so how, how more comfortable I can get. <laughs> so how I come to this topic that I was already a bit stressed when I started doing this. And when I see how the paper is reacting to paint, I started to freak out a bit more. <laughs> but anyway, you know, it's good. It's okay. Most of the artists that I'm following, they do like clean sketch first, then they start to color it. But unfortunately, I can't really do it. Mostly I do very like rough sketch. Then I decide what I'm gonna go for while I am painting. This is a bit like staring at the clouds and seeing some images inside which is not so practical to be honest. <laughs> and that's not, that's not a way that I would recommend you because it takes too long to decide which color you're gonna go for, if this color gonna match with this, what kind of image I'm gonna put it here, should I put a black color because I might turn it into the lighter color after etc etc. So it make you waste a lot of time. So I kinda try to change it, but as you see, I'm not there yet. To be honest, it was super hard to start a new drawing before. Besides the like that I couldn't find anything to draw, it was more about that I was so afraid to disappoint myself with what I'm gonna end up with. And I was caring a lot about other people's thought also. So it was quite blocking me. But whenever I start to see my sketchbook, like my diary that I don't have to share with anyone with, 
that's really changed a lot for me it make it way easier so if you're struggling with the same problem probably this way of thinking can help you out as well sometimes i'm super surprised and like proud with what i draw and sometimes i'm just like what the <laughs> But the thing is that whenever I am not happy with what I am drawing, I mostly take a break, at least a coffee break or something, and come back to the painting after. Because there's a thing that you are using your point of view after a while when you stare at the same painting for too long. You cannot really see what's going on, what is good and what is bad and what it really needs. So it's good to have breaks like at least every hour because you are just too connected with it, just too intimate with it. What I'm trying to say is there are too much emotions going on. So it's good to have a break, observe other stuff and come back to your painting. This is exactly like you're in a like horrible relationship, but until you break up and take a step back, you don't realize that how horrible and toxic it was. Yeah, this is exactly like this. You need to take a step back to observe better. Why I'm talking about it? Because that's what happened to me with this painting. <laughs> I was so upset with the pixels are not appearing as well as I pictured and I should like do it a bit darker because it's not dark enough so I was putting black and black and black and black and I didn't realize how dark it became until I had a coffee break and come back to it. Another kind of like mistake I made on this painting, I tried to put too many things in a too little area. It turned out something different what I had in my mind and it ended up looking a bit messy and at this point i really want to stop i thought like i can restart later this is not gonna end up nice exact verb, but eventually i decided to continue which is a good thing because you know if i stop in every painting that i'm doing and i'm not liking much i wouldn't finish probably any of them <laughs> So I use lots of white and gold to get rid of this huge dark area and it kind of works actually. Even though I say it's a soup now, it's too mass, too mixed, it kind of makes sense because when I started this painting I was thinking that it should be a girl with too much going on on the head to like represent the bullet journal idea to me and it kind of does actually. To be honest, I stopped touching it because it was already night time and the light changed so much and I said, okay, uh, it's enough, enough is enough. And the, the morning after, when I come and take a look at it, I quite like it, you know. Without the pressure, I was more able to like see what I come out with than what it's gonna turn out to be. Maybe I'm making no sense right now, but it's like taking care of someone else's child because it's not yours, you know, you just enjoy with it and when it cries or shit, you just hand it over to the parents. What an extreme sample I give. <laughs> but I hope you understand what I mean. So that's like what happened to me on this pen thing when there were no more pressure on me, when I'm like, I know that I'm done with it. I start to like it more. So I'm super glad that I didn't step in the middle and really force myself to finish it. But you know, it doesn't mean that I have to finish all the paintings I start all the time. If it's really like stressing me out or making me upset, of course, I have all the right to stop it. I can start to draw something entirely different or I can restart to do the same thing again and try to avoid the mistakes that I did before. I've been in a phase for a while that I quite find a like safe area for me. It was like I had a period that I was only drawing fishes. Which, okay, not so different than what I'm doing right now, but it's like, it was a specific fish with a specific way of coloring. And I quite enjoy doing it and I like it so much and I see that other people quite like it also. And I found myself just doing exactly like same painting over and over and over. Yeah, it was okay for a while because, you know, it teach me to love my art more, it gave me more self-confidence and etc. But this area is quite dangerous also because it's too safe to stay too long. Then it block you from improvement. If you like always do the same thing, you cannot improve. At least that's what I'm thinking. I wanted to like exit from this area and try new things, especially the things that scare me most or think that not my style. I try to like give them a shot to see that if they are really not my style or I'm just afraid of them. And to be honest, some of them I quite liked after I tried. So it's not super safe to have a safe balloon. It's better to get out of the balloon. Well, I'm still playing with this painting, but I think it's time for it to finish. Oh, by the way, I got a thing a couple of weeks ago from Nipsey and Winton. It's kind of like watercolor effect kind of kit. And there's this thing called iridescent medium. It's like a glitter liquid. 
and I decided to use it on my painting because you know my painting is not shiny or messy yet. <laughs> Need some more. <laughs> I'm just gonna apply it on the roses and see how it's gonna turn out. Well, it's not getting along with the white pen there. It's kind of messy, but I'm gonna fix it later, so it's okay. I'm gonna put a little touches on the lip also, and voila. By the way, I covered this area, there were too much yellow and shiny things going on, so I think it looks better this way. Guys, while I was shooting it, that I changed the battery twice, I switched from my camera to my phone, and I know that the light changed a bit too much, so sorry for it. If you guys want, you can follow me on Instagram to know more about what's going on. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment section that what you feel like, what you want to see in this channel. Don't forget the thumbs up, thumbs up if you like the video. If you want to keep up with my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you guys very soon. Ciao!